Breaking news, Putin holds the US responsible for the Middle East crisis. The recent escalation of violence between Israel and Hamas has been lamented by Russian President Vladimir Putin, who cited it as evidence of the failure of US policy in the Middle East. In his speech, Putin accused the United States of trying to monopolize the Day Peace settlement without looking for compromises acceptable to both sides. On Tuesday, Putin hosted Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammad al Sadani for talks in Moscow. He claimed that the United States had ignored the fundamental interests of the Palestinian people, which include, foremost, the requirement to carry out the United Nations Security Council's decision to establish a Palestinian state that is both independent and sovereign. Putin said on Tuesday that the escalation of violence between Israel and the Palestinians was proof that the United States' policy of trying to monopolize negotiations while ignoring Palestinian interests had failed. Putin told Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al Sadani that he believes many people will agree with him that this is a vivid example of the failure of United States policy in the Middle East. Putin claimed the U.S. had tried to monopolize international efforts to bring peace to the region and accused the U.S. of not trying to find a solution that would be acceptable to both sides. Putin claimed that the United States had disregarded Palestinian concerns, such as the requirement for a Palestinian state. Israel currently controls the West Bank, Gaza Strip, and East Jerusalem. The Palestinians want to establish a state there. The Kremlin has previously stated that it has been in contact with both parties and will attempt to mediate their dispute. Reuters reporting, Alexander Marrow writing, Mark Trevelyan editing, the Kremlin has said it is in contact with both sides of the conflict, and on Tuesday, Russian President Vladimir Putin said the escalation of violence between Israel and the Palestinians demonstrated the failure of U.S. policy in the Middle East. Putin's spokesman said that Moscow would like to help mediate the conflict, but he didn't say how. Putin, on the other hand, seized the opportunity to place blame for the sudden escalation on years of American policy in the region. Putin told visiting Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al Sadani, I think that many people will agree with me that this is a vivid example of the failure of United States policy in the Middle East. Putin claimed the U.S. had tried to monopolize international efforts to broker peace and blamed the U.S. for failing to look for compromises that would be acceptable to both sides. Putin claimed that the United States had disregarded Palestinian concerns, such as the requirement for a sovereign Palestinian state. He failed to mention Russia's ongoing contribution to the Middle East peace process. Since 2002, it has been one of four parties, the others being the United States, the United Nations, and the European Union, that make up a quartet charged with mediating conflicts. In response to a wave of deadly Hamas attacks over the weekend, Israel has launched the harshest airstrikes in the 75-year history of its conflict with the Palestinians, pounding Gaza with devastating force. Russian officials have expressed concern that the unrest could spark a wider conflict in the Middle East. The Kremlin has made an effort to appear neutral since the latest crisis began by emphasizing the strength of its relations with both sides. Hamas, the Palestinian group with the longest history of ties to Moscow, sent a high-level delegation there for talks in March. Dmitry Peskov, a spokesman for the Russian government, has said that Russia shares a lot in common with Israel.